Hey guys, we're back playing Castlevania 4 for Creeptober. Yeah, and as I said, uh, I only had one life at the end of the last episode, so I went and uh, got myself a game over so I could get some more. And we're back doing Stage 2, Super Castlevania 4. And something I didn't show off in the last episode is that if you hold the button, you can do this little whippy thing around, and it helps to like get rid of like these things that grab your feet. It doesn't do as much damage as uh, just standard whipping. We have some spiders that throw spiders at you, which is kind of funny. There we go. I forgot what the button was. Jump. Oh. Alright, and uh, spiders. Why? Stop with the... Why, computer? What are you doing? I think the other whip upgrade is there. Yes. And now we have our whip again. Okay, so basically now our job is to get up that way. Game. What? Let's see if we can not get killed by these little hedgehog thingies. This stage. <clears throat> I hate it. It sucks. I don't like it at all. It's annoying. It's very long. The boss is in the middle. What is over here? Oh, a jump stick that I didn't actually need. Great. Just know that it's there. Can we get another heart? And watch out for that pit down there. Clearly, you don't want to drop down there. Or a grass man. I hate those things because they appear out of nowhere, as well as the zombies that are annoying. Hey, get off me. Hey. Everything's just flying at me all of a sudden. Run away! Alright, screen two. More water. <clears throat> uh, come on. Uh, damn it! Bird! Damn you, Ninja Gaiden Bird. Okay, it's not really a Ninja Gaiden bird, but you get the idea. Hey, bird! Down here. Ugh. Bats I can deal with. Birds, not so much. Alright, in this uh, candle is the stopwatch, so if you want it, you want to not whip it till you're, like, right there. There's a frog. Stop. Yeah, it killed that bird. Woo! -hoo. Damn frog! Oh, you can ignore that guy in the. Hey! Didn't say you could jump down here on me. Damn it! Die! Totally gonna die by health reasons. There's a bird. All right, now there is a. One of those little drumsticks here. Uh, do I want... No, I don't want that. I want to get... I want to get to it without dying, as I have basically one hit left. There it is. Okay. I want to get to the next screen without taking another hit. Should be close enough. And here we are, at the midpoint boss. Damn it. Boss is not hard. However, after the boss, the stage continues. Though this part is a lot less difficult than you might imagine. It's just really slow, moving... Even with the lag. Stop that! I don't know what the computer's doing with frickin' causing it to lag like that, but it's annoying. And it's ruining my spirit of Halloween. What it's doing. Yeah. Watch out for those orange things. They're spikes. They will kill you. I don't know if they'll kill you outright, but they will do damage to you, so you don't want to touch them. Just, just FYI. It's up here. Yeah, another drumstick. Woohoo! 
Alright, so now we're in reasonably good shape. And we have yet another screen! Okay, get rid of those things. Their hearts, more hearts. Woohoo! Got that guy. Bats I don't really care about. Um, why did I go all the way back up there? Someone tell me that. Okay, come on, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Thankfully, a lot of things here, if you have the, the double upgrade whip, only take like one hit. Because it would be more than annoying if things were all like, yeah, I want two hits from you. And then you're all like, no, I don't want to waste my time whipping more than once. And are we done? Yeah, we're done. Holy crap. I totally did not expect to get through that stage in one thing there. Ugh. Finally, we have another stage where the boss is actually at the end of the stage, but you know what? Um, I promised that I would, you know, one stage per episode as to not make this go too much longer. I may have to break that, depending on how many stages there are in the game. You know what? Let's break that now. I mean, you're only six minutes in, and you finished stage two already. Why did I whip the wrong way? Some water droplets, you want to avoid those if you can. Clayman. They may start as one, then that one splits apart into two, then those two split apart into two. And that's basically how it rolls. Got some more dragons and some. Da, 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 da. I wish I had a Halloween story to share with you guys, but I really don't. I mean, my Halloweens were fine. I didn't have anything really bad happen to me. Um, let me think. Do I really have anyone? Anything at all? Come on, I gotta have something. Oh, also, if you go... I don't need it, but if you go this way... Well, now I kinda... Well, I don't, still don't need it, but... You find a whole bunch of stuff, like ridiculously amounts of money, points, and, you know, hearts, and then you get to the end, and boom! There's a pork chop, leg of lamb, whatever you want to call the full healing item. I don't know why they put that, like, you know, at the beginning of the stage, because there's really no point to it being there. I'd appreciate it more in, like, other stages, I don't know why it's, like, all reserved for the end, or for the, the stage where I don't need it. I right, some holy water. And I have 84 hearts. Let's just start actually using these. Here are some claymen. Claymation? No, just claymen. Try to get around people. Try to get hit by the falling water. It doesn't hurt as bad as, like, the water in, like, the last Wily stage, like Mega Man 2, but it does hurt quite a bit. Okay, there's more bats, and then we have falling stalactites, which not only will they hurt you if they hit you, and I mean, they hurt a lot, but the little pieces that break off when they hit the ground can also hurt you, and they also hurt about the same, even though that logically shouldn't happen that way. Alright, there we go. There's more mud men. Do do do. Wandering death. Okay, the next part. More water. More dangerous falling platforms. Those are gonna fall down, so you don't want to stand on them too long. Why did I? I knew that guy was there. Why did I jump? Uh, these things are invincible. You can't really kill them. So you want to just wait for him to not be in your way and then go. You get. You can tell where the little plants are by basically the uh, the little green thing sticking out of the ground there. Very good test of platforming in this level here. Just kill some more plants. Swing in on some chains. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Look at that. Just get three hearts right here, real quick. 
Oh, I'm amazed I didn't get hit by that. Where that guy? Some of these jumps you look like you can't make, but you can. Also, be very careful not to fall off the bottom of the screen. Because like a lot of other... Cat like pretty much every other Castlevania game, if you fall off the bottom of the screen, even if there's actually a platform like there, it'll just kill you. I don't really want the knife. Come on, swing. Like, I have the same, you know... Why do I keep not jumping again? Okay, now I'm gonna die just because this thing's being an ass. Alright, there we go. Made it through. Oh, I have 99 hearts. Probably should do stuff with those. Like, not waste them. Need some health, though. Health would be great. Does that work? Can I hit... No, I can't hit him with that. Alright, let's not get hit by this guy. Um, I don't know if that's anything. No, it's... Stopwatch. Which is awesome. I, I guess it's kind of good since I have that many hearts, but... I really could really use some health. Next screen, alright. This screen is the bane of my existence. Because there are, like, Sahagans here. And they spit water at you. And it hurts. And then that happens, and then those things happen, and that keeps happening, and then eventually it stops. And you have those platforms that slowly break away as you stand on them. We have this freaking dragon head here. All it does is give you a crap ton of hearts. Come on, give me some health, please. Jeez. Alright, next screen. Yes, health. Let me grab that before I lose it. More of that there. I'll take the knife now. Did you die? Thank you. Swing this way, swing in the chain, swing in the chain. Alright, there. Still have very little health, but I'm okay with that. As this should be the last screen. Oh, and this screen is just as annoying as all the ones before it. I'm amazed that I'm getting, actually getting through this. Alright, so... Basically, what was in that thing up there was an actual a murder all enemy uh, item. It just looks like a little. I can't freaking. Now I got it and failed. I don't want to jump off because I might end up dead. You want to be careful because those break away, and you just sit here under this guy and just keep freaking hitting him with the, the whip. This is not a checkpoint screen. This is just a... Can I hit him from here? No? Alright, gotta go this way. Yeah, this, this is not a checkpoint screen, it'll just, you have to go, if you die here, you go back to the screen before, which is okay, I mean, the screen before wasn't all that difficult, even though I was having real trouble getting onto that freaking, no, no, bad, bad bird. No oh, money, good. Alright. Yay, more health. Thankfully, you can drop down over there. 
I was hesitant about it the first time. I really wish the stairs would actually let me go where I want to go, as opposed to just making me walk up them. No! Ugh. That was ridiculous. Ow. Alright, I'm just gonna cut till I get back to that point. Literally, like, half a screen away from the boss. Seriously, that's how bad it was. <sighs> well, here's the boss of Stage 3. It's actually a twin-headed dragon, and it is actually quite a bit easier than you might expect. Stand here. Whip them. If they do that, one head will shoot three little fireballs, another one will shoot this smoke cloud thing. But as long as you don't get close to, you'll be fine. I lost about two extra lives from... And if you get hit, you'll just drop back to there. Just get back up here. It's not hard. You, pretty much, that's the only place you have really a safety net. They alternate... Um, shooting, and once you kill one, hopefully you kill the uh, the little three ball one first. <laughs> three ball. Then this one just goes, you know, pretty much unless you're standing like right in front of it, it's not gonna care. And there we go. That was it. Stage three has been completed. I don't know why, like, you know, this stage drops a red orb, but the one before it didn't. That's kind of weird. And, uh, yeah. We're getting pretty close here, if you look at it. I mean, now we gotta go up this tower, and then right there to that guy. Whatever that thing is. So, yeah, next time we're gonna tackle Stage 4 of Let's Play Castlevania 4 for Creeped Over. You know, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, everybody, and have a good night. If you can. Dun-dun-dun. <laughs>